This one is quite tricky, and you could say that the solution is, is ambiguous. But um, anyway, let's take a look. The first thing to notice is, is that we have uh, two two different kinds of of stuff going on. We have top left. We have an object. We have an object here, an object here, and we are going to end up with an object here. While in the middle, in between the objects, we have what we could call operators or functions. They do something with the objects. So let's try and, and figure out what they do. First, we have the, this curved line. And when we go from left to right here, we can see that it, it changes the shape of our object. So it works on the shape at least. Let's go down to our, our cross here. And when we go from up here and down here, we have some kind of size change. So it works at least on the size of things. Then we could ask ourselves if if this one if it determines the size as well as, as the the shape, and likewise we could ask if this one determines the the shape as well as the size, and the answer to to both questions is no, and we can argue like this that if this one determined the shape, then we should have some kind of of a straight shape here, while if this one Determine the. It, we know this one determines the shape, so we should we should have also a curved shape here, and that's impossible to be both straight and curved. So it determines the shape, but not size. And this one, not shape. So all in all, <clears throat> we will have a small figure here because. We get some shrinkage here, and we must have a curve figure here because we have some curvature from here to here. So we can rule out a, a lot of these options down here. This one is not curved. This one is not curved either. And this one is not small, and these are not small as well. So these are our options. and. Now it, it, it becomes slightly controversial. So we can see that these two options, they, they differ in terms of their direction. So each object has a direction. And the question is what determines the, the direction of, of the objects? You can see from here to here, there's no change of, of direction. It's, it's horizontal and, and vertical. And from here to here, no change of direction. So what about from here to here or from here to here? Well, we can, we can look at, we can look at this operator compared to this operator. This one is horizontal while this one is rotated 45 degrees clockwise. So if this one determines direction, then things must be be rotated 45 degrees down here. And we can check with the crosses. This one is up, up, down and right, left. And this one is rotated 45 degrees. So from here to here, we have once again a 45 degree rotation. So we might argue that the center one working like this and like this, rotate the functions 45 degrees or make them obtain a direction 45 degrees rotated clockwise. <clears throat> anyway, if we have to rotate this one 45 degrees, it's not going to be this one, it's going to be this one. So the answer is E.